Okay, y'all. Transitioning from the cooler months into the warm months can sometimes be a challenge with makeup. Um, you start to get more sun on your face. In my case, I've been trying out our sunless tanners, and so I'm a little darker than I usually would be um, you know, without that. And so I wanted to show you how I use my products to come up with a perfect match. Um, I'm going to start with Gloria's Primer. No matter what face products you use, I would highly recommend this. It's one of my favorite, favorite products. I usually just start and put a little bit on my face there. And then I'll take my foundation brush and go, go back in and really just blend it in. I feel like this gets it on smooth and evenly. Okay, and once you've got your primer in place, you kind of let that set. I am a huge fan of our BB cream, especially as we go into the warmer months. It's not heavy, but it still covers. Um, and so in the cooler months, I usually wear our color called Bisque. In warm months, once I have a tan, I can usually go down to Honey, and I'm kind of at that mid, mid place right now. So I'm gonna mix the two together. I also am going to want a little bit more coverage. I've got some couple little breakouts on my face, some redness. And so I'll take just the slightest little dab of our Skin Perfecting Concealer and mix it in with it. And I know it sounds like a lot, but this is really easy. So I'm using our Liquid Foundation Brush. This is new. It just came out last month. And instead of using the well in the middle, I'm going to use around the outside. So I'm going to do a little line of the bisque there. I'm sorry, that's honey. A little bit of the bisque. And I should have mentioned before I started this, I like really shook these up really well. And then just a dab, if I can get it open. It's hard to hold this and open at the same time. Just the slightest bit of the concealer and you're probably thinking what is that little bit going to do this stuff is so concentrated and so good all right so i got all my supply right there so that's just like a hodgepodge of a couple colors dab dab okay and then just kind of take this and just stipple it out looking up at my mirror and you're probably thinking well keely you sell makeup so you've got all of these things. These are the colors you would probably have anyway. And makeup lasts a while even if you've opened it. Like this says that it's good for 12 months after being opened. So if you've got your um, cooler month color and then you have your warmer month color together, you, you've got everything you need. This can even, these two BBs can be bought in a set. It's called the Highlight and Contour Set. And so you can save some money there too. I'm not condoning you buy a bunch of random products. This is just the best way I've found to, to get a match as you're moving from season to season. And I just love the way this BB feels. It, I don't know if you can see on the video, but it just gives your skin this awesome glow. It just feels so healthy. Let's see if I can get the light so you can really see. And so I have freckles and I usually like for them to show through just the slightest bit. I want to, you know, tone them down some, but I like for them to peek through. If you don't like for any of your like freckles or things to shine through at all, we do have heavier coverage options. But this right here alone is usually my go-to face. Um, I'm now going to top it. This is our mineral concealer. This can be worn by itself too. Just put some primer on and then top with that. Tap a little bit into the lid, then using powder puff, I usually just hit up the places that get greasier on me, which is like in between my, my eyebrows, a little bit on the cheeks, and then just really gives it like an illuminant glow. And it's still quite natural looking too. So there we go. That is how I would take it into the um, into the warmer months. I always finish off with a little bit of bronzer. This is sunset. This is going to be our lightest color. If I'm going for a more dramatic look, I'll usually bump down 
a color, but this is this is a good one just for a little natural touch. So I'm just hitting hollows there. That just gives your face some shape and definition. Then hit up here on my forehead, on either side of my nose, and I usually come right there under my chin. And then back with the powder puff, and buff it in. Again, you might be thinking, I'm using a lot of tools. I want to make sure I show you what I've used. This is a liquid foundation brush. So to put on my primer, I use the foundation brush. This is the angle blusher brush and a powder puff. All of these, plus a concealer brush, so that would be if you have like really bad dark circles on your eyes or a blemish you want to hide with concealer, you could come back over with that. All these are sold as a set. You can save money that way, or you can buy them separately. So that is it. That is my going into the warmer months face with a five-day-old sunless tanner on, how I would mix up some things and get the right color. I hope that helps. If you have any questions about what colors would work for you or what specific products for your skin would work best, just let me know. I'm happy to help.